Hello guys, Marcus here, Pipe Beards and Guns, and uh, welcome to this little Monday afternoon chat. So, what do we have today? Well, yesterday I was at my mom and my dad's house. Well, my dad passed away last year, and I went through some stuff in the garage, and uh, I saw a little cloth pouch with a zipper on it uh, in a box with like old old stuff like photographs and stuff like that and and I felt it and I could feel that it was oh shit it's a pipe in here so I opened it up and guess what well looky look so I know it was my grandfather's pipe. I put a bite guard on it, but this is a Peterson cup roof 211. So it's an old shape or a shape that I've just Googled and seen some, some similar pipes, but this one is a small one. The bowl size, it's, it's only 17 millimeters and about maybe 30, 33 millimeters deep so it's a small one <clears throat> Peterson lip it, it's quite a bend to it so it has this relief here so it, they can drill the, the hole into the bowl and it's almost like it's like a system pipe but not really uh, but I guess it works a bit like a system pipe anyways it has a little bit of a of a space here underneath the hole into the bowl so but as you see it's a uh, rustic sandblasted uh, and it's just the perfect bend to it no effort having this in your in your mouth it's just rests on your beard in my case or, or your sheet and uh, it's beautiful it was a little bit out of shape like dirty mouthpiece uh, the bowl was had a really uneven cake to it a few cracks in the cake so I, I managed to polish up the stem uh, got it up to a black finish again uh, I removed some of the cake or most of it and I would say that it's it looks really really good on the inside no burnouts or any you know defects that that you would be worried about smoking it so let's have this now with a, a bowl of Peterson Old Dublin to try it out so a little short review on the Old Dublin as well I'll just pack it up all right pack in a moment So I filled up the bowl, I packed it, and it's pretty funny. I'm, I'm used to being able to use my index finger to just, you know, push some of the tobacco down there. Now I need to use my pinky. It's too tiny. So old Dublin today. So I tried it out first from a friend. I got some tests from, the, from my friend. And I smelled it in a in a store in a shop tobacco shop before and and it was just not pleasant for me to smell back then because I was more into aromatic tobaccos uh, I would say now that I tend to lean more towards these more tobacco smelling rich a bit more you know tarry or how you ever want to call it so I really like, like this one it's sweet it has a good taste to it I tried the uh, nightcap from Dunhill and I would say this is like a smaller brother uh, not as heavy this is more uh, more smoother creamier no no maybe creamier but maybe the same but not as strong as, as nightcap and I would say that it's uh, 
it's quite a sweet one. So it has some Cypress uh, Lacatia in it, uh, some uh, mature uh, Virginias and Cavendish as well. Um, and I really like this. So let, let's let's light this one up. Right. Some thick heavy smoke. It it's a really nice pipe for this. I just tried it out once before before this video. So about the old Dublin one, in my experience it's a really cold smoke, it's a, it doesn't go hot on you. It has a little bit of that sharpness, not, not that it's strong, that it bites you or pepperish, it, it's like a little pepperish but not too, not too much. You fur further down you go in the bowl, I think it, you, you feel the sweetness of it a bit more. I really enjoy this and the, the room note is really pleasant and you would think that from the tin note that you would smell all this tarry and, and really strong but the beer note is really nice after you had a bowl of this one I might say this I must say this this pipe is really growing on me even more like a sailor so I also trimmed down my really wild man beard I had uh, so it's a little bit more shaped I haven't combed it now but so not as long as before, I maybe took off an inch, maybe. I will let it grow more so it gets a bit thicker, the, the smaller, shorter hairs will grow out. So I really would recommend this tobacco as an evening tobacco. Uh, it's an evening smoke and for those who, who want to try uh, nightcap for example maybe you should try this first off if you're uh, new to pipe smoking and you don't want to go that get scared of nightcap uh, it wasn't that bad but when i first tried it out i had slept really bad the night before and i was really tired and feeling a bit not sick but you know wanting to just sit in the sofa and or go to bed and i really felt nightcap this one I don't get the same feeling and um, I do enjoy this a lot I will try to get more English blends I just stocked up so much on tobacco right now after the series trip uh, pardon all the noise they are removing some smaller mountains over here so they're they're going at it so guys i hope this was a, a nice one and uh, please i will add some pictures of this one it's really nice i wonder how old it is i'm not sure if it's late 70s early 80s it says uh, made in uh, oh let's say Peterson Kaproof made in Republic of Ireland so in Republic have a nice one cheers bye bye